Vibrant education institutions are not only taking shape in the city, it is also happening in the heartlands. At Singapore's fifth polytechnic, located in Woodlands, problem-based learning models have replaced instructional methods. This 20-hectare campus is designed with this new learning approach in mind. What really excited us about this particular project was the academic curriculum, the problem-based learning, which is very new to us. And we were trying to learn uh, ourselves of how uh, an environment for problem-based learning uh, should be, which led us to this particular design solutions. Architect Gary Kamamoto and his team needed to explore ways of creating a campus that responded to this new curriculum. But before he could go about executing his vision, the team was faced with a challenge. To fit some 17,000 students and staff members on a 20-hectare site. It's a very high-dense campus. Given 240,000 on a 20 hectare site, we immediately knew that this was going to be a high density campus compared to the four predecessors, which is more based on horizontal planning. So we immediately knew that we had to probably go vertical uh, in order to, to fit all the program elements on the site. But building vertically also meant that the student and staff population would be isolated from one another. This would go against the school's problem-based learning approach, where students are encouraged to form groups and interact with the environment to find solutions to real-life problems. For Gary, the solution lied in creating a common space to facilitate this interaction. The idea of the Agora, you know, coined after the Greek market, was a place within the city where people come together. And we thought that, well, the Agora is a Greek market, or in the Netherlands it was a community center, we thought that kind of uh, spatial ambiance would be completely appropriate uh, for a problem-based uh, learning uh, institution where students are not locked up in classrooms. Uh, they, they are let loose uh, to, to meander through uh, the campus to find places uh, where they can best find the answer to the problem that is given. As a response to the new problem-based curriculum, the design of the classroom building enables different combinations of labs, facilitator rooms, and study areas. The high wall-to-ceiling classrooms allow the lessons to be adaptable and spaces to be reorganized. More than just a space for learning, the architects wanted the campus to blend in with the surrounding greenery so that the students can feel relaxed in a park-like environment. We had the vision of the campus in the park and, and greening back the site, so we thought maybe creating a big uh, uh, landscape uh, garden on top would be very uh, appropriate. Then when we looked at uh, campus precedents, we looked at many historic institutional uh, settings back in the U.S., and of the one we liked the best was the space at University of Virginia, designed by Thomas Jefferson. And of course, uh, this is one of the greatest iconic spaces in, in the United States, and it was called The Lawn. So again, that, that inspired us to create a, a series of uh, a small and large courtyards on the roof of the Agora. The existing slope above the Agora was transformed into a vast green space called the Lawn to allow students to be able to relax on and hold campus activities. The Lawn did not only serve a functional purpose. This open green space also made the school more visually integrated with the surrounding environment. Republic Poly wanted an open campus. They did not want fences and walls to uh, demarcate uh, the, the campus territory and, and the institutional mission 
was to make uh, the campus feel at one with the surrounding community. And we have uh, HD blocks on, on one side, uh, we have the natural hill on one side, and the other we had the regional park. So the surrounding context was quite interesting, and by greening the site in as much as possible, it provided kind of a, uh, a green oasis for the residents, as well as a great campus environment uh, that works with one with the regional park. Republic Polytechnic has set the stage for a vibrant campus that has been defined not just by the architects, but by its users. It's a wonderful scenery to see that the students have actually taken over the space. And that kind of social behavior, a new social use pattern that arises from a space that is uniquely uh, uh, provided to uh, people is something I think is uh, quite delightful for an architect that you, you discover as people occupy the building and it's actually the people that give life to architecture. Flexible, fluid, and spontaneous, these new buildings are transforming the way students learn. These transformations are important first steps towards nurturing creative minds of tomorrow.